today. From Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, it's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. Eagles taking on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. Open back in 2003. Have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the Cincinnati Bengals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? possession game but a good chunk of time on the clock so they have the ability still there to run it on second short but maybe they need to pick it up a bit you're right they did pick up the first down there but they as you mentioned they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two possession game they've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win Morgan first and ten at sanders another nice gain 16 yards there and a first down again and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two and it brings up second down a gain of two Brings up second and eight. From the 22, Wentz. That's going to be caught. And he'll be out of bounds. Eagles. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball, let it run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Corey Clement, his second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles are back with it a score. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet, or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put it to the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball away. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. To return it, Darius Phillips. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Bengals take over first and 10. 
at their own. The Bengals drive about to get going. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. Complete to C.J. Uzama. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Being chased out left. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Two yards, and it's third down. On third and one, Burrow. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Defense was thinking run, and their delta pass of just under 20 yards. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. Got a man open, it's Ross. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A gain of five. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. He was looking for John Ross that time. And it's third and five. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Five yards to go. Open man is Uzama. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 34-yard line. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe a Bengal got going a little early there. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Again, it's Burrow. He's going to have the hook up to Ross. Burrow's pass. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Seven. It's this drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. To the air again, Burrow. Eluding the pressure right. Burrow on his toes that time as they get the first down. He was so there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big time situation in the fourth quarter. Picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Second and seven. At the 18 yard Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Steps away to his left. He'll try and run it. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets him 9 yards and a first. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the 2-minute warning. They'll give it to Nixon. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. A loss of two there, second down. A loss of two brings up second and goal at the 10-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got it second and goal now as they look for that final dagger. Another try for Mixon. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. It's a pickup of three, but still a little work to do on third and goal. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now it's Burrow. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. To number 18. A.J. Green, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to 
control the football and stay ahead of the chains. I'm using every cliche I know. <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays. And that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yeah, two score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. The only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. And Jeffrey's got it. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. That's a first down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. He's going to let it fly, and that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Intended for Zach Kurtz. Incomplete. Another shot from the one on second and goal. To throw his wins toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The Pro Bowl tight end Zach Ertz, the intended target, but now it's third and goal. And now third and goal following incompletions on first and second down. And this is caught, so it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left on the clock, however. Coming from where they were, they knew this was going to be tough, but they got the touchdown. Now they need the miracle, the onside kick, and a little extra. Yeah, and you have to get the onside kick and not have the ball bounce around a lot and eat up time. You want to be able to grab it, possess it, and get your offense out there for what you just turned a miracle last chance. So looking at this situation, you should have time with the onside kick and at least one play. Looks like the Eagles got this back. Yes, Philadelphia football. So they needed the onside kick, and they got it. Now they need a field goal. And that's the beauty of this. They don't have to get six. The field goal ties the ball game for them. Nicely executed play. seconds remaining and they can trot out the field goal unit and try to send this one to overtime and a timeout comes in the whistles blow with three seconds remaining so here we go maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming with three seconds to go if it's good we're off to overtime And no, wide left. It's no good. And a tough finish to this one. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And I tell you, this was a fun one. Just a close game. Nothing comes easy in this league, as you know. They had to work for that victory. I've got to go back to what you just said. Nothing comes easy in this league. How many times have we talked to coaches prior to a game and assessed, you know, the strengths, the weaknesses, the whole deal? Even